But um, the interesting thing about Christmas and, and the holidays is that we look for that feeling. It, we develop that feeling in childhood, there is the, the magic that we feel every year. And every year we look at, for that feeling and every year it's the same but it's different. And in, in, in programming Christmas concerts, uh, Christmas concerts are the trickiest thing to program. Different. Nothing's harder than to program than a Christmas concert. The slight back and forth between the more religious and the more secular side of Christmas uh, and the more secular being the little more entertaining part of the program. And then the more religious, uh, I try to um, make it grow through the program, through the evening. Uh, and the, 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 what I use as a climax to the concert is, has been for several years, the final waltz and apotheosis from the Nutcracker. And I'm hoping that the, the religious feeling of the program carries through that, you know. Uh, uh, carries through a great composer's piece. You know, because that's really the, the trick, is that how to balance the amount of great composer music you have in the program mm -hmm. versus more popsy tune. And the popsy tune have their functions, right? They are here to also relax the, the audience, right? or the ambience, uh, there has to be enough of an element of relaxation to the program and enough of an element of religious feeling of elevation for the thing to just click, right? And a New Year's program is almost like um, banging your foot down on, on the ground. It's, it's, it's almost more like coming back to Earth. Uh, it's more like uh, the... Um, it's the more secular side of the holidays. Um, it, it's gonna be a mix of uh, uh, some opera, some Spanish songs. Uh, we have a, a Spanish tenor coming. And so he's, he's, doing, he's gonna do some Zarzuela song, which is a Spanish folk opera. And that should be really fun. There's still going to be some Strauss uh, marches, waltzes, and, and, and polkas. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have the same guest violinist we had last year, Amos Fayette. But we have a totally different singer with uh, this, uh, this tenor from Spain called Israel Lozano. And then he's going to introduce a special guest that's a surprise. Uh, and that uh, you'll see at the concert. Uh, and it's his own guest that he's bringing. So it should be great fun.